This is a robot solder practice project kit. It's one of the kits that featured in my recent AliExpress unbagging video, link in the description. But let's look inside and see what you get. So you get this really attractive little PCB. It's gold colored and it has a robot's face on it. And on the back, we can see the traces. And actually, they've silk screened over to show you where the traces actually go. So you've got a bit of information about how this is actually wired together. So that's really nice. To go on the robot, you have two red LEDs, two blue LEDs. There are two push buttons to operate those LEDs. There's a battery clip, which will allow us to install the battery. And we have an included battery. I'm not sure if I chose the included battery option. I'll make sure to add a note in the description. This one says Sony. I'm skeptical that that's the case, but maybe it is. It does say um, Matsushita on the back, which is actually Panasonic. So there's a bit of a mismatch there already. And we have the resistors here, and there are four of those. And these look to be brown, black, black, black with a brown tolerance band. So that'd be one, zero, zero with zero additional zero. So that would be 100 ohms. But of course, we can check that with a multimeter. And there we go, 100 ohms. As all the resistors are the same value, it doesn't actually matter in this case, but it's always good to know what we're using. We have two different sizes of LEDs, and so we have 5mm LEDs, which are these red ones, and we have the 3mm LEDs, which are these blue ones. And it seems that the blue ones are going to go in the antennas here, and the red ones for the robot eyes. But it is worth noting that because of the leg sizes, they would actually be interchangeable if you did want them the other way around. So let's turn the soldering iron on and get started. As usual, I'm going to start with the resistors. Next up, I'm going to put in these switches, and the switches go across the way, so the little clawy legs go in like so. And the same for this one. Okay, next I think I'm going to do the LEDs, but you'll notice that the LED polarity isn't marked, and I think that's a bit of a shame for this board, as it would clearly be attractive to beginners. So let's see if we can work out which way around the LEDs are supposed to go. So as usual, I have one of my CR2032 batteries here, and on this side you can hopefully see there is a plus sign. This is the positive side. And of course, this kit actually has one included. So if we didn't have one, we'd have one to spare. But we can check the polarity of our LEDs and the long leg is usually positive and we can see that is the case here. And I'm sure that's gonna be the case for our blue LEDs as well. There we go. Now, typically when you insert these, the battery goes face down. And so that means the negative pole is going to be here on the pad on the board. Now, because we have the traces lined up here, we can see that this lower side is likely to be the negative of each of these LEDs and likewise for these top ones as well, because these traces pass all the way through. But let's grab our multimeter and put it into continuity mode, just here. And we get a beep. So what we can do is we can put one probe on the pad here, and we can check to see if this is connected. And we get a beep, and you can see the number goes down here. And here as well. So the bottom one of these sensor LEDs are negative, and at the top, we can see the top pads are the negative pads. So using our multimeter, using the circuit diagram that was on the board, we've been able to work that out. Still, as I said, as this is an attractive kit and it would be attractive to beginners, it's a shame that they haven't marked that explicitly on the board. They could have done so on the back here fairly easily. 
Now, as I said, I'm going to put the red LEDs in for the eyes. And knowing that the negative is going towards the bottom of the board where the switches are, that means our long leg has to go in the top here. And the same for the other eye. And for the antennas, if we remember, the negative actually goes near the top because this wire, as you can see with the white trace, goes to the top there. So that's the shorter leg goes towards the top. And again, shorter leg towards the top. Just double check everything before we solder it in. Here's our shorter legs and our shorter legs here as well. Of course, you can do them one at a time if you like. No need to do them all at once. Okay, that looks kind of funky. Next, we need to attach our battery clip. And this just needs to go through. And we have the battery opening towards the bottom here. It's got little claws on it, so it kind of clips in on its own here. And we solder it carefully to these pads on the front. Okay, there we go. So we do actually have a brand new battery, so let's pop this in and see if that works. So as I said, button side goes down, the casing side goes up, and we just slide that in just like so. And if we press the button, these two light up. We press this button, these two light up. And we can press both to have them both light up. Okay, so that's really kind of funky. So while that was a quick little kit, I hope you found it interesting. I think it's a really fun little project and something to get started with. As I mentioned, if you are beginning with this kit, it's worth knowing here that when you're installing the LEDs, the shorter leg goes down towards the battery holder for the center two LEDs, and it goes upwards towards the top for the top LEDs. And you can work that out by tracing the lines on the PCB here, the silk screen, that traces the negative and traces it back to that pad on the butt cell holder. And as you can see, there's actually a plus sign here showing that the, that the plus side of the battery should go upwards. So I hope you found the assembly of this little robot project interesting. And I hope to speak to you again soon in the next video.